Okay, here's the Vanishing Shadows robot, painted and detailed. Granted, I didn't do any sanding or priming. I simply painted it. It's because we haven't been above freezing outside in two weeks, and uh, you have to spray paint outside and then bring it in the house to dry, and adding more steps like sanding and priming and all that kind of stuff. It just stink up the house, so just kind of hosed it down, detailed it. Um, but the only thing I didn't mention in the uh, build video was on this door. I print it vertically like this with supports under these two edges to get a better quality. And the fact that, uh, I don't know if it'll show up because it's so dark, but the battery holder themselves um, have a little groove cut in them. Let me try turning the light on. Let's see. See if we can get light in there. Yeah, I think you can see the cutout. There's a cutout on battery holders and they're all a little bit different. If they're not deep enough, cut those out a little bit deeper so that these ridges don't uh, ride up on them and, and hang out too far. Alright? Alright. So, in fact this one needs it. See how that's rocking just a bit? I, I've already glued that one in. That's something you need to do before you glue the battery holder in. <clears throat> so what I'm going to have to do in my case is uh, just grind this down just like a half of a millimeter. I didn't want to do that. I wanted as much friction fit as possible, but uh, we do what we have to do. So as far as operation goes, there it is. Like I say, I kind of really wanted steady on uh, five millimeter white leads with a warm color, but this is what I had. So this is what I ended up using. Let's see if I get a little further back and get the whole thing in. Yeah, there we go. So now you can see the walking action from there and get kind of a side profile. Again, this is using the uh, uh, 220 to 1 TT gear motor, which I find easiest to buy from AliExpress, not only because they have so many different gear ratios available up there, and I'll have links for that and had links for it in the uh, build video. Um, but the prices are also lower and they only take two weeks to arrive, so it's just easier to go that route. Other things of note uh, everything about this robot I designed using Design Spark Mechanicals, my free uh, 3D CAD program that I started using back in, well, before 2015, so uh, over 10 years ago. Uh, the only thing I tried different here is I tried a different program just on the arms and it, it didn't doesn't spit out the same quality um, or more artifacting kind of uh, these these lines in these straight areas and uh, I didn't care for that so I won't use that program again I won't mention it because a lot of you might use it and like it but uh, in this case I could have sanded that and primed it of course and smoothed it all out but then again I already explained to you why I didn't. So if you haven't already watched the uh, build videos and the talking about videos and the video that shows how I designed the parts and Design Spark Mechanical, I'll have links to all of that good stuff below, including links to the files on Thingiverse, in case you want to uh, build your own Vanishing Shadows robot.